Iba, dance. You have to dance. Okay, if I must. <laughs> what is this game? Go to marble. Hey, Mama, it's me. Mama! Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm heading over now. Glad to hear it. Maybe I'll close the place a little early for you. Hey, yo. Sorry, but I'm with someone. With someone? A girl named Iris. What? Is she a virgin? Huh? Mom? I'm not gonna answer that. Anyway, remember what we talked about? There's a regular here who was good friends with Ray. <laughs> the same mama. <laughs> they should be here tonight. <laughs> That's her name. Oh, right. Are they coming tonight? Yes, I promise. All right, then I'll see you there. Okay, I'll be here. How are you talking on your phone without earphones? I was too lazy to explain it properly. So I came up with a lie. I have an earpiece implanted in my ear. Wow, cool! Another call came in. Date, it's the boss. It's not his actual mom. That mama is her name. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, Date, tell me the situation. Did you find number 89? If I did, I would have told you. What was that about? That was a cry from deep within my heart, Date. <laughs> Do you realize how screwed I am? You wish you were screwed. Go find number 89. <laughs> if I find Renju, I find number 89. I'm gathering information on Renju's whereabouts now. Where? I told her I was going to Marble with Iris. And about who I was expecting to see there. Wait, are you trying to get her drunk? She's not 21. And if she wasn't a minor? Hmm? Well, whatever. I'm sure you have a good plan. Find those two and arrest them. Got it? She refers to women proprietor of a bar. Oh, okay, fair. And she is canonically trans. We love to see it. Golden Yokocho, Monday, 10.07 p.m. So this is Golden Yokocho. First time here? Are you yeah. proud to come with? I'll come. Marble is right over here. Date, on your six. Two suspicious individuals approaching. Bro? Ooh. Damn, he just shot without even thinking. Stay right there. Okay. Uh... Bro, what the fuck? Get out of there, dude. I love how they're not chasing him down to shoot him. They're very politely, like, standing in the corridor, like, the, the walkway. We need a way out of this. <laughs> yeah, but... If I grab Iris and try to run, we'll be shot full of holes. The alleys between the buildings are blocked off. We can't go that way. Which means... Shit, we gotta take care of them. I have reached the same conclusion. But I've only got a single revolver. You mean revolver? 
Truffle Falls. You wish. What is happening? Oh, is he remembering something? Date, I have a plan. I will give you instructions. Just move as I tell you. This better work. Not to worry. My calculations are flawless. What's the plan? You see that hanger over there? Shoot the bottom of the hanger with a normal bullet. Why? Don't ask questions, just do it! <sighs> okay. Oh my god! Wait, what? How do I... Oh! Look at that! <laughs> like a gift from heaven! Bro! Bro! <laughs> There's no fucking way! There is no fucking way! Are they stupid? Just as I calculated. There is no I motherfucking way! Date, focus! Now, the burst shot. Shoot the porno mag vending machine. The porno mag? I said no questions. Hurry! Shoot the vending machine with the burst. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Hey, this is. <laughs> I can't believe they're porno mag vending machines. This That's is insane. Crazy. I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Have you never seen the internet? <laughs> Yeah, they must be stupid. <laughs> you are too. <laughs> what? The final step. But you don't have to do a thing. Hello? Mama? There's a group of naked buff guys dancing outside your bar. <laughs> There's... What? <laughs> don't use my voice without permission. This is an emergency. I will slap you if you don't shut up. Damn, okay, kinky. Now, we're ready. We just need to use the fire extinguisher. It's loaded with high pressure CO2. Now, I will leave your eye and throw the fire extinguisher into the air. Shoot the top of the extinguisher at the perfect time. Now let's go. Um, okay. This is the first time there's been quick times in this. <laughs> Not naked buff guys, what a nightmare. Yeah, That's no. terrible. <laughs> Poor Iris is just sitting here like what the fuck? Why couldn't we have thrown that? Oh, 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 oh. I got an achievement. Muscles galore, Ben's gymnastics routines. <laughs> what? <laughs> All according to my calculation. What the fuck? <laughs> 
Shit, sorry, I just hit the mic. This game is so bizarre. <laughs> Nasa residence, Monday, 10.52 p.m. So did we not, I guess, we don't get to see the people at Mama's place? This is... My place. The building's got a security system. We'll be safe here. So Mizuki's not home? Doesn't look like it. I checked her phone's GPS. Mizuki is currently at Sunfish Pocket. Getting late, but Sunfish Pocket should be safe. I'm sure the mermaids are taking good care of her. If anything, she'd be in more danger with us. <laughs> Iris, I need to talk to you about earlier. Have a seat wherever. Okay. About the unidentified attackers. Iris, those guys who tried to kidnap you, do you have any idea who they were? After a long silence, Iris spoke. There's a reason I asked you to go on a date so many times. I wanted you to protect me. I wanted a bodyguard. Aww. But I thought that if I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't tell you. But now, I'll come clean. My life is being threatened by a secret society. They're called the Nizet Laws. A what? group under the control of the Wajet system. Their ultimate goal is to complete X00639. I discovered them and what they were up to, and now... What? Date, please help me! They're going to kill me! Wait, wait. Slow down. About nice little us. Whatever how you pronounce it's called it. N A I X A T L O Z. Sometimes they just call themselves the Nyes. They're deeply connected to the Wajet system. Their organization is everywhere. International politics, business leaders, all operating in secret. Interesting. What is X00639? In geosynchronous orbit around the equator, longitude 100 degrees east, there's a satellite. It's about 150 feet long. Quite big for a satellite. True. Most satellites are between 5 and 10 feet long. Yeah. The International Space Station is roughly 330 feet long, so this satellite she is describing is about half as big. Almost as big as my dick. It's always in the same place, and there's no doubt that it's man-made. But by who? And when it was launched, no one knows. Also true. The first to discover this satellite was a space advocacy group in Japan. It was on the news for a short while. No one could identify it precisely. Most people thought it was some secret U.S. military satellite, and that was it. But that's not the truth. X00639 is a super-powered radio transmitter. Radio? Transmitter? But it's not complete. It's still being built. And that's what they're trying to do. That's what Wajet wants them to do. What? About their relationship to the Wadjet system. So, well, you know about the Wadjet system, right? I am confused. It's the core of artificial intelligence. Do you know where it came from? It was developed by the American tech conglomerate Elgord, but no specifics have been revealed. Basically, the Wadjet system artificial intelligence is from outer space. It was transmitted to Earth in binary as radio waves. They were caught by the space dev team at Elgord, and when they decoded it, they found that it was a truly incredible source code. That's the code they used to create the Wadjet system. Is this true, Iva? It is patently ridiculous. Oh. To summarize Iris's story, the Wadjet system AI was built by decoding radio waves sent light from outer space. A secret society called Nice, nice at loss. 
or nice knows the secret of the wadget system and obeys as well. Their ultimate goal is to complete the radio transmitter satellite X00639. Why do the members of that place follow Wadget? Nice and Wadget have a mutually beneficial relationship. Wadget can control stock prices. Nice benefits from that. In return, Nice helps Wadget's ultimate goal. That's why Nice is in militaries and corporations all over the world to help build X00639. I don't know if this is true or she's like on a conspiracy theory. Why does Wadjet want to keep Nyza a secret? Let's say that one day Wadjet shows up on your computer screen. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Wanna help us out? Do you really think humans would help? Most people would probably think their PC has a virus or something. Or they'd panic and try to remove them. I don't know what would happen. I'm sure Wadjet made their own predictions. And they thought it was best to control certain parts of humanity from behind the scenes. But they needed some kind of direct influence. They can't build a satellite by themselves, right? That's why they created Nizet Laws. Nizet Laws. Why is Watchet building X00639? I managed to learn that too. They're building X00639 so they can transmit their own data to a planet far away. If they contact a sentient species, then the process will repeat itself again. That species will decode the signal, create an AI, then build a radio transmitter. Because they're an AI, they can create copies of themselves for transmission. Doing this over and over means that Wadjet will eventually spread across the universe. Okay. And after that? After that? Yeah. After they're spread all over space, what do they do next? I don't know. You don't know? Well, why do humans have children? It's the same thing. Fair. <laughs> Wadjet is a lie. They want to spread across the universe. That's their destiny. So this sounds like a whole lot of conspiracy. All right, I get it. You do? Not really, but she doesn't need to know that. <laughs> <sighs> But listening to your explanation, Nyes doesn't sound like a bad organization. Kind of. No, that's not true. Think of how much money and resources are going to Nyes. Think of how many people are suffering in poverty. And all the wars happening across the planet. And human trafficking and slavery. Damn, she's Nyes an educated queen. resources to put an end to all of that. But they don't. They only care about themselves. And well, welcome to, to being an adult. <laughs> They'll kill if they have to. <laughs> well, you find all this I'm shit out about the world. Because I found out their secret. How and when did you learn all this? Well, I can't say yet. Go! But it's true. Believe me. Nice is dangerous. You have to understand, Date. You. You saw my dead body. Do you think that you were killed by Nyes in the parallel world? Yes, I think so. You're the only person I can trust. Please. We've known each me. other like three days. You have to protect me. I just want to reiterate that. Like we've known each other like three days. Thank. Iris's story is, well, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't believe a word of it. But it is true that she was almost kidnapped by some mysterious group. And it's true that I saw her dead body in the cold storage warehouse. And if that happened in a parallel world... Date, you can't tell me that you actually believe this. I don't really believe this. <laughs> Iba, you use the Wadjet system too, right? So what if I do? Do you suspect me, Date? Do you think I'm an agent of Nyes? Fine. This can be solved easily. Why not look into her mind? Then you will discover if her story is true or not. A sink, of course. Okay. Iris looks serious.
What a quote. With Iris in the passenger seat, I headed back to Abyss. But really, I didn't want to take her there. Because Boss would be waiting. Oh, shit, yeah. The men who attacked us at Golden Yokocha were waiting for us. That means they knew we were coming. Why would that be? Someone Mama? Took them off? Well, who could have? Someone who knew we were going to Marvel. Mama. That's right. No. Oh! Impossible. Hmm? Iva, can you contact Pewter? No. Something. Understood. But Mama knew we were going. Why don't we suspect her? Oh, Dante. Do you need something? Dangan? Ronpo. There's a soaking wet merman in the back seat. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't joke around at a time like this. You're gonna make me aggro. <laughs> Tom. Um, Dante, have you got anything weird in here? Nope. Weird. Yeah, in these plastic baggies. But that's flour. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? I'm out drinking in Shinjuku. I was actually thinking of heading over to Golden Yokocho, but I heard something about a shootout. So the cops have it sealed off. Maybe a shootout between gangs or something? Mm. The world has become a dangerous place. Does a sink machine exist outside of Abyss? Pewter, I need to know something. Does a sink machine exist outside of Abyss? If it does, I won't have to go to Abyss. I can just go there and sync with Iris. Thought Pewter might know, but Hi Sombra, how are you? Why are you There's awake? There's only one sync machine in the entire world, and it's with us at Abyss. For now, anyway. For now? The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. Stolen? Oh. Yes. It was being transported when it was attacked and then stolen by an armed group of men. Culprit is still on the loose. The device was never recovered either. Um, oh, I'm, what? Are you aware of this? I'm no, okay. This is new information. I was not even aware there was a prototype. Damn. About boss? Pewter, where's boss right now? Not sure. I don't think she's at Abyss anymore. Maybe she went home? Nice. So, neither you or Boss are at Abyss right now? No. I can take Iris there without a problem. Thanks, Pewter. See you later. Sure thing. <laughs> so dumb, yeah, it does. Dante, where are we going? Inside your dreams. <laughs> that was such a creepy way to respond with that. To determine if what you were telling me oh. is true. And if it is true, I'll fulfill your wish. My wish? You don't remember? To become your bodyguard. Is that all right? Yes, of course. You keep falling in now, consciousness. Go back to sleep. Please headquarters, Monday, 11.47 p.m. Just like Peter said, boss wasn't there. Ivan knew exactly how to use the device. I followed her directions at the control console and prepared the machine quickly. Who's gonna like Date. manage? This time, I, will be remotely operating the I was gonna say, who's gonna manage Roger it that. while we're in there? Are you ready? Yes. The time limit is six minutes, as always. I know. All right, let us begin. Oh God, here we go.
What is this? Place? Of course, it's like Minecraft inspired because it's basically like Shovel Forge, like the game that she plays, which is basically Minecraft. It is uh, difficult to move like this. <laughs> this Why do you look like that? <laughs> Wait, I love this. <laughs> I went with a simpler look today. I figured this world couldn't handle my full resolution. <laughs> Guess that's fine then. You can quit if you want, you know. Never. I will never give up. <laughs> you don't have to take it that far. This literally looks anyway, like um it seems that we've Garganical. <laughs> is this world made of jelly cubes? This is Shovel Forge. Shovel Forge. I don't see any <laughs> shovels the eyes, yes. or forges. Iris said that she was focused on streaming this game lately. What's that got to do with forges? Forget about the forges and listen. <laughs> this Somnium is the world of Shovel Forge. A sandbox game in which you make and move cubes to create structures on a map. I'm not playing this game. On the contrary, you already are. Oh, come on. I don't want to play. Accept the reality, Date. You have no choice. <laughs> Good evening. Good morning and hello. It's Tessa, also known as Aset. You bet. I'm going to be playing Shovel Forge today. Let's dive right in. Iris's Let's Play has begun. Help me, Date! You have to help me! It's nice! They're coming! Find me, Date! Oh, a pickaxe! Lucky! <laughs> what was that all about? It appears that this Somnium will not be easy like the, the other, other ones. The other ones were supposed to be easy? I didn't think the other ones were all that easy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying! Are you ready? Let us begin. Oh god, here we go. Somnium scan! Activate. This is wild. Okay. We've got four mental locks. Okay. Damn, so I'm trying to kind of go any hard. It's blocked, but it must be the outermost gate. It doesn't seem as though we can get through here. Bro, what? It's blocked. We got. Mm, God damn it. Of course, we got one of those things. All right, so it's just one long corridor. Wait, this this is like the like the the like what's it called? Like the corridor from where we were getting shot at. <laughs> Iris's live stream is showing on the monitor. Oh god. That is long, okay. This doesn't look like a pickaxe, but that's what Iris identified it as. Uh everything's so long, okay. Um sure. This is a pretty avant-garde pickaxe. Perhaps designed with glow sticks in mind. A silver gate! Let's dig it up! Like this? This is actually kind of fun! <laughs> Easy there. We've still got a job to do. That pickaxe was dropped by someone being attacked by knives. Be careful! I've never play played Minecraft, I know, right? After you too. Did you get that? I'll be the one being attacked. Either way, all we have to do is listen to Iris and do what she says. But which Iris? There appears to be two. I guess both for now. I think we'll find something if we dig there. Let's check it out! It is a door, or perhaps a gate. Everything looks like a block of tofu to me. 
This must be where we use the pickaxe. All right, just don't be too hasty. Iris's live stream. That's a long time, but we might get a short, shortened thing. Hmm. No, I don't want to do that. A door or gate? It is closed. It is blocked off by some kind of hard material. However, yeah. we might be able to break it with the pickaxe. All right, give it a try. Yay, I got a thing. In which case... Let me run to this real quick. Iris's live stream. Now, use the pickaxe on the gate like this. How? We need to break the gate with the pickaxe. We have to do this whole thing within this time. What about if I break that gate, though? It's blocked. Um... Understood. I suppose we seems oh. like Rip. Fuck me then, I guess. <laughs> I just wasted all that. A door or gate. I wanna save this, I think. Just like I always say, let's hit it! Go, Iba! Alright, here I go! Oh, oh. I got a rare material! Ooh, I knew today would be special! This is kind of fun, isn't it, Iba? <laughs> Are we meant to do this the whole time? Uh, this is tiring. The gate's open. Let's go. Roger. Don't call me Roger. This is a new area. And we cannot return to the previous oh. one. Hmm, where else can I dig? We gotta find something to dig up. Am the I next meant gate? to dig everywhere? Yep, that's the point. You dog. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I see. Oh, we're gonna make something. I see. That's a big stick of imitation crab. It must be a vending machine. Well? It is definitely not imitation <laughs> crab. Hey, Iba. Yes? I wonder why the people who made this game called it Shovel Forge. Perhaps they are interested in crafting digging utensils. I see. It's a strange world out there. <laughs> what do we get? Oh, we got a bird. Okay. Crafting table. You can create items here. We need the correct materials to craft something. What can we make right now? Nothing. Oh. Rip. <laughs> no, why would you give me that? Fucking hell. Iris's live stream is showing on the God damn it. It is blocked, but this must be the exit for Golden Yokocho. Understood. 
I suppose we can't dig here. God damn it. Seems like it. <laughs> I guess dig at the A vending machine. Happy digging. Roger. Yes? Is this Golden Yokocho? Indeed. It appears yeah, to be that's what I said. but it probably is based on Golden Yokocho. This is where we were attacked. Hmm. Look, Dante! What is that? For our what? Uh-oh, an elite is coming. But it's okay. I've got the feeling we can do it! Project Blue Beam! Nice is trying to kill me! You have to stop Nice! But what are we supposed to do? Dance! What? Dance? Use the most beautiful art form humanity has ever created! The power of dance! <laughs> huh? They may have money and power, but they'll never take our beating <laughs> hearts! Dance is the only way to fight the Wajet system of Nice! I swear to God. We can make a disco ball. Let's build the disco ball, and then it's dancing time. What do you think, Iba? Shovel Forge is not a dancing game, but that's not what I'm talking about. Nice does not exist. But I don't think Iris is trying to mislead me. Hey, what you think does not change the facts. Now we have to decide our next move. For now, we need to find somewhere to craft the disco ball. <sighs> I found a crafting table. Hmm. Something the matter? It seems you can create items other than disco balls. But we need to make the disco ball now. That's what the viewers are <laughs> expecting. Huh. Interesting. Understood. Done. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, we gotta dance for real now. Give it your best dance moves, everybody. W what should I do? Dance, Dante. Fight against Nice with the power of dance. This girl's deluded. Iba, dance. You have to dance. Okay, if I must. What is this game? What the fuck is this game? Oh. It froze. I'm assuming it, it saved when I went into the sink. Well, at least we'll be able to save some time this way. This doesn't look like... This is a pretty avant- Perhaps designed- Okay, cool. Uh, did we get something from looking at this monitor? Iris's live stream is showing on the monitor. Mm. 
I don't know if 30 seconds is worth it for a timey. A door or gate. It is I will do this for a timey though. It is blocked off by some kind of hard we might All right. A door or gate. Oh, are you it kidding me? Closed. I hate it here. Okay. <laughs> oh. I got a rare material. This is kind of the gate. Rot. Okay. Checkpoint saved, but you didn't fucking save, did you? <laughs> so we want to. That's a big stick of imitation crap. It must. Well. Okay, yeah, I got a timey. A, a good timey. Happy digging. Oh. Interesting that it was tab that it was getting me to press and now it's face. That's weird. Now we go to the crafting table. I found a crafting table. Let's find out. We have all the materials. Jesus. Why? A crafting. I'm sick of this. Uh, make disco ball. Guess we have to watch this cashier from parents leave the kid in the checkout line. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Okay, so it didn't crash that time. I really think she's deluded. Yeah, good. Huh? Well, I don't know how, but we defeated that big guy. Oh, a rare drop! Awesome! Let's see how far we can get today. Let's go, everyone! Onward! Please defeat Nice. I know you can do it, Date. All right, let's go, Iba. Okay. A hot head is not what we need in this situation. What does that mean? I made it. I guess we go towards gate four. It is blocked, but this. Oh, is this going to give me something I don't want? Can you make a hole with the pickaxe? I do not think so. This material does not look like it can be broken. Thank God. I hate the timies that fuck you it over. Is locked, but this Dick. Understood. Wait, what? I suppose we seems like What do you mean? Which way am I supposed to fucking go then? Iris's live stream is showing. This appears to be another gate. I believe I can dig it up with a pickaxe. Oh, okay. Let's get digging. Roger. Oh, cool. This appears to be. Do it. Leave it to me. Oh. I dug it up. Got the material. Let's move on. 
Okay. This is a spacious area. Is that marble? Those flowers are winter irises. Mm -hmm. They're wilted. Whoa, this place is huge! How are we gonna maybe oh. we can make something with the materials I have? She said how are we gonna okay. check everything? Okay. Another crafting table. At least you don't have to do any more digging. Dante, do you see that shrine? Shrine? That's humanity's last hope against nice. Save us from the oppression of technology. Return the stone monument to the pedestal at the shrine. What? We should have all the materials we need to craft the stone monument. Please, Date, you're the only one who can save me. You're the only one who can save this world. <gasps> hey, she's definitely deluded. There's no way. Date. I'm the only one who can save her. Bro. Hey, Date. What? Is following Iris's plan really the best idea? I don't know, but I feel like we're getting closer to the truth. Really? Let's go with it a little longer. I suppose we can. I will follow along for now. Hmm. There's a crafting table. Craft monument. The same crafting table we've used previously. Okay. There's a lot of monitors. Iris's live stream. Are they all the same? I want to know what this is. But I guess we'll get to it eventually. A crafting. Iris said that all the materials should be here, but... What's that on the floor next to the table? This is... the egg that came out of the vending That's machine. That's an egg? <laughs> an egg! We can use this! Okay, build the monument with that! There you have it, Iba. Understood. Done. You could have given it a little more oomph. <laughs> Specifications for oomph not found. <laughs> the shrine you can make miracles Dante got it leave it to me Iris are you going to continue doing whatever Iris tells you Iba I get where you're coming from but he wants I to be a to hero I see if that is what you believe then I will obey I exist to support you Dante let's bring this to the shrine yeah let's go hmm This appears to be a pedestal. Investigate. I am certain you are supposed to place something here. The monument Iris was talking about? Correct. But are you absolutely sure you want to obey Iris? This appears to be a... Let's do it, I guess. Understood. It will be done. The wilted iris has blossomed. What? There were dead flowers outside. What happened to them? Okay. Oh, wow! This is... Miracle. No, it's not. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. The fact that you believed in me is good news. Okay. And Dante, you are my hope. I'm your hope? You might be able to use it now, Dante. Use what? There's something around the flowers. Another rare drop? I suppose we dig here. Right. I do like this music. Soft ground. The color of this floor is slightly different. All right, try digging. Understood. What is this? I've never 
seen anything like this before. Is it on the wiki? I'm gonna go check. Give me a second. What is this? Oh, I get it. It's a love bomb. Hmm? An item of that description is not in the game. Let's hmm. fight for the future with the power of love. If you use this, you might be able to find me. Okay. Use it. How? You need to dance, Date. Oh God. Oh, that's right. Again? Haven't I danced enough already? This is to save Iris. Please, just bear with it for now. You've been taken All in right. by this girl, dude. I'll just use this bomb somewhere over there, I suppose? Yeah, try it. This way? We cannot move forward with the debris in the way. Something is clearly peculiar about this debris. It's blocking the gate, but it seems to have come from nowhere. It's unnatural for sure. Does that mean Iris is blocking us on purpose? Can she do that? What if this is also part of Iris's imagination? Hmm. Okay, we got a good drop from there. We cannot move forward with... Around here? Yeah. Dance, baby, dance! Do you want me to dance? Please. <laughs> he sounded so desperate. Okay. <laughs> what? Oops. Looks like I messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> okay, well, guess I'll just die and restart. What? <laughs> <laughs> Not the lava <love> death. <laughs> uh It's too real. <laughs> it's too fucking real. Where is this place? Let's regroup and keep going. As a video game character, experiencing death again and again <laughs> is wearing me down. Well, <laughs> further away from us now. So when will you stop believing her? Date, can you see that shrine? Iris, I'm sorry. Did we make a mistake? No, you haven't. What's going on? Are we supposed to go that direction? Iris, are you there? Something big is coming. Okay, this guy's gonna be the final boss for today. No, stop! Stay away! Iris! Nice is coming! I think she made these guys me. up, I don't know. Iris is in trouble. Is there any way to save her? Date, this is Somnium. It cannot affect the real world. That's not true. I saved Iris in Somnium once. If I don't save Iris here, Iris in the real world is in danger. Either way, we do not have the power to fight against the UFO. If you want to help Iris, we need to find a way. What can we do? Where do we go? Hmm. I'm a little bit concerned that we are running out of time. Mirror door. A mirror door. But I'm not reflected in it. Good thing I got these timies, huh? What? The power of dance. The most beautiful thing humanity <laughs> has ever created. Lord. Dance is the only way to beat Nyes in the Wadjet system. The reason why your reflection isn't shown in the mirror is because of Nyes. You're a threat to their existence. 
They're trying to erase you and <laughs> Dude. Please Come on. do it. Understood. I'll do it. This game is so strange. <laughs> Just the ext what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what the fuck? Of you to do that. <laughs> no, you. It's. Thank you for finding me, Date. Iris. Is it really you, Iris? You still didn't leave their bed. Valid. You clearly needed the rest. Both A and B are release Iris. Iris is cool. Believe me. Whoa. They really rely on you. I don't have enough. There's no way. Oh, you did? Oh, that's good. Please trust me. Iba, touch the core. Date. I guess it's so long because they want, don't want you to do it. Oh wait, no, we did it. You believed Iris. So wait, what was the other option? I wanna know what the other option was. I don't think I wanted to believe her. But I don't know how else I would have done it. The sink from earlier touched my heart in a way that will always linger. All doubt was removed from my mind. I was determined. Iris, I'm sorry that I doubted you. I still doubt her. I believe you. Wajit Nyes X00639. Are you serious? And like I said, I'll fulfill your wish. From this moment on, you're under my protection. Then? Yeah, I'm your bodyguard. I'll protect you with my life, Iris. Date! We've known her three days! Thank you so much! Date, are you delusional? You're going to help too, right, Iva? My mission is to support you. Good. And thank you.
from the current office Tuesday, 1124 a.m. Hi, Salty. How are you? What? You stayed at a hotel with Tessa? It was a business hotel. <laughs> it was a two-bedroom. <gasps> Don't say misleading things. We got two rooms, each with two beds. We did bathe together, though. <laughs> no, we didn't. What? Isn't your gang supposed to be clean? <laughs> Why are you here anyway? I told Momo about the attack by Nice Nice Atlas. I see. I heard about the shooting in Golden Yoko Show last night, but I never thought it'd be. I'm you. doing good. Hey Iris, what does a candle remind you of? Um, fire? Anything else? Oh my god, what, this like dude. I wasn't asking you. This dude! Huh? 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 Partish! Done. That's a stretch. That sounded lewd, I'm sorry. There's something about this that's so black. It's like, how much more black could this be? None. None more black. What? What does that mean? <laughs> the fuck? Nursing home magic show? <laughs> what the fuck? Where are your lackeys? When you told me you were coming, I made them leave. I can't let them see me with Tessa. <laughs> About Renji. Unfortunately, I don't have anything new for you. But uh, I did find out a little nugget of info you might want to hear. Kay. What is it? I'll tell you, but... Uh, Date, come over here. Oh god, here we go. Again with this? <laughs> with his arm over my shoulder, Momo led me to the corner of the room. I'll tell you, Date, but you got to do something for me. <laughs> Hand this again. man always hustling. No, 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 no. I, I did that already. I want to see. Dude. I'm sorry. I, I, I want to see Tessa's panties. Bro. I really, really, really want to see. You are in your forties, my guy. She's not gonna let you. She is Can eighteen years at old. Least ask. Hopefully soon. Unbelievable. Momo and I went back to where we were. <laughs> this game. <laughs> Iris, could you do me a favor? Hmm? This guy wants to see your panties. She hit me hard. That's messed up, Date. I know Momo would never say that. <sighs> right, Momo? Yeah, 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 of course. Date, you evil pervert. Seriously? You just want a handshake, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I tried to tell him. Bro, Iris took Momo's hand and shook it. Date, this, this is the happiest day of my life. I thought that was yesterday. About Renju. Anyway, what's this intel you got? Check it out. Friday night near Bloom Park, someone saw Renju. Okay. Friday night. When Shoko died. That's when Shoko was killed. Obviously, that's not enough to pin the crime on him, but it does prove he was there. I guess we should check the merry-go-round again. The police have already thoroughly searched it. And we've been there more than once before on our investigation. But we might have missed something, right? Hmm. About... I keep forgetting how to pronounce this. Nice at laws? Sorry. Never heard of them. Are they even real? Yes! <laughs> oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, of course. <laughs> I've always known... Deep down, they're 
must be some kind of secret organization. Always known it. <sighs> anyway, I, I got some info about the shootout. Those guys aren't affiliated with any criminal organization we're aware of. They're not Mafia, or Yakuza, or anything. They must have been hired guns. Interesting. Uh, by... Niza... M M Mattis. <laughs> Me as fuck. Nizet laws! Nizet laws. Outrange you. Maybe Mr. Okiro was a part of Nice. What? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking out loud. What makes you think that? When we were at Sunfish Pocket, my friend said... He was looking for Iris. And then later, I almost got kidnapped by Nice. Was that just a coincidence? Mm. And not just that. When you found my corpse in the parallel world, you found it in an Okiara warehouse. Whoever killed me in that world was probably affiliated with Nice. That makes me think the Okiaras and Nice are connected. Hmm. Maybe Nice ordered Mr. Okiara to help Number 89 escape. And Number 89 is an assassin. If he wanted to get rid of me, Mr. Okiara must have. If that's true, it could be related to Shoko's murder. Shoko must have found out about the organization. They killed her for getting too close, then displayed the body as a warning. Comes back to Nice. Once we solve the mystery of Nizat loss, everything else will fall into place. Or so I thought. If you want to know more about Nice, why not ask Ota? Remember what he said yesterday? I know about conspiracies and secret societies too. I find that stuff fascinating. These kids are deluded. Good point. You might have more information for us. How's school? School? Today's Tuesday. It's not another holiday, is it? What are you, dense? Tessa was almost kidnapped. <laughs> she can't be going to school now. <laughs> I guess that's true, but... <laughs> okay. You wanna call your mom? Well, that's random. I just thought she might be worrying. Yeah. It's fine. She knows already. I told her I'm with you. I'm sure she's not worried. With some random dude. Yeah, sure. Summarize. There are three places we can go. First, Bloom Park. I'm curious about Renju being seen there Friday. Second, Matsushita Diner. I want to ask Ota more about Nais. Third, the Sejima estate. Sejima was probably the one responsible for Iris's murder in the parallel world. In which case, he might be a part of Nais. I need to confront him. Let's go, Iris. You're taking Tessa with you? She'll be safer here. I can't do that. I made her a promise. I will be Iris's garter belt. Ah! Uh, what? Uh, sorry. Bro. I meant bodyguard. A Freudian slip, no <laughs> doubt. Hmm. Well, whatever. But if you're gonna leave, you should take this with you. Momo opened his desk and took out a small object. His dick. What's this? A GPS transmitter. Moma, Iris's phone already has GPS. I know. But in case she gets caught and they throw away her phone or something, he just it's wants just to an extra precaution. He just wants to put it track somewhere us. they won't find it. Thank you. He just wants to track where she is. She took the GPS transmitter and hid it in her clothes. I hope it'll be useful. Date, if anything happens to her, <laughs> I'll make sure you regret it for the rest of your life. Dude. It'll be fine, relax. 
several days later. The chairman's chair. Hey, if you get tired, you can sit on my lap, okay? Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> Not you! <laughs> okay, let's go to the diner. Let's go see Ota. We're playing Tuesday. Ota and Mizuki were both in the diner. Oh. Yeah. Nice at loss. I see. It's not impossible. Oh, yeah. Ota spoke softly to himself, looking deep in thought. I... A round chair. Is that chair comfortable, Tessa? If it's not, you can sit on my back. <laughs> this man will stop at nothing. <laughs> he needs to chill. Um, yeah, this Nice at Lars thing, I don't buy it. I think she's delusional. Manual Kazuaki's liver with anchovy stir fry. I'm not gonna read out Salt, all of these. Pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Well rested Mayumi juice. Mayumi is like the owner of Dinah. I'm sorry, what? Her juice? You guys want to put some water in that bucket and swing it around? Um, Tessa, please not in the store. Iris, what? <laughs> People just be saying shit. I have Masanori's autograph too, from Shinsen Chatran. Masanori was here? He knows about this place? Masanori is the from a enemy in ago. Genshin. <laughs> like, that's not what they're referring to here, but it's just funny. Hey, know. Date, do you want this poster? <laughs> no, not really. You know, if you rub the swimsuit with a coin, you can scrape it off. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll throw it away for you. Meow. What are you doing? Oh, you don't know? It's good luck to imitate a cat in front of one of these. Oh, I see. Meow. What has two arms and a face but no eyes? Hmm. Buddha. What the? <laughs> like the Buddha. He doesn't have eyes? Have you seen his eyes? But he's not blind. No, of course not. He sees all. <laughs> That's hilarious. Beer. Hey, Tessa, can you stack up those beer cases and stand on top? Then I can get on the floor and, um... He can't be serious. Ivor is the only reasonable character in this entire game. <laughs> hey, Date, I've got this video of a girl in a white shirt under a waterfall. Wanna watch? Absolutely not. <laughs> Do you need to sit down, Mizuki? <laughs> Do you want me to crush your tailbone so you'll never be able to sit down again, Date? <laughs> Damn. This 12 year old got bite. Where's your mother? She's out right now. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. That Iris. Tessa is. My hopes and dreams, my peace and my life, my light, my star, my sun, my goddess. She's like the laws of the universe itself, the embodiment of beauty. An angel, a lover, a cute mascot to put on a body pillow, a guru, a wife, a soulmate, life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. And like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Thanks, Ota. That makes me happy. I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> Gotta go throw up real quick. <laughs> I'm out. Nice at loss. I've heard of them. Nice at loss, or nice, is a satanic secret society. Really? Okay. Like a cult. 
they sacrifice children. While the sacrifice is up all night screaming, the cult performs ritual acts. Their ranks are full of politicians, intellectuals, and business tycoons. They've only been active for a few decades, but some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. An organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? But for Nice, there's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Mm -hmm. Orta doesn't know about the Wadjet system or its connections to Nice. <laughs> Stella, you good? Out just why they're after her. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. Yeah, I still don't I'll believe sage. it. Why are you here? Well, Ota. Um. Oh yeah, why? Why is he friends take, with her again? Can I? I was suggested and walked over to the corner of the room. This isn't going on YouTube, no. I quietly stood up and followed. I mean, I might make some TikToks of it, but I'm not sure. Look, I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances. What? Date, can I? What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Don't you think she's at her limit? S.H. Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaid's houses last night. Gay uh, I I I I I and turning all night. He had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally she'd be in school, but Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. She needs you, Date. Aww. She just doesn't want to trouble you. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. This is true. You should try to understand how she feels. If you're asking me, he's involved in all this, isn't he? Is he the culprit? Did he really kill Mom? Well, I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. After Mom got killed, he didn't even call. He called me out to Bloom Park for some reason. I thought it was suspicious. But... But... I pretended not to notice. I didn't want to acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in Daddy. Mm hmm. We should have said something comforting. Man. Uh, Iris. Who is Iris to me? A friend? A big sister? And I kind of envy her. No, stop it! It's true, though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this friendship is slightly less weird because it could be sisterly, but it is still a little bit weird. About Ota. Ota's like my big brother. He's a hero who will help me out of any jam. Bro got bro zone. He's really important to me. <laughs> I like him a lot. How much? Three Earths worth. Yeah. Yeah, Ota's really fucking disgusting. Are you cold? Iris, you look cold. You okay? Y yeah, fine. I just get cold easily. Mm. The room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit at 62% humidity. Not conditions often considered. Cold. Yeah. There's something there with how with how she supposedly died and was in the freezer and she's been cold a lot recently. I don't know, there's something in that about Mizuki. Mizuki is like a cute little sister. And, and my favorite friend. I like her a lot. Get wrecked, Ota. How much? About three universes worth. Ah, <laughs> get wrecked, Ota. Oh, Aww. no voice line there. She's trembling. All right, Iris, let's get going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Date, 
if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll come help right away. Me too. I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Thank you both. Promise me. I promise. Tsujima residence. You and Stella, same brain. There's no one in the garden. So must be inside. Wait, I have detected a living organism in the garden. A living you organism? Look around. Giant green blob. If four connect, they disappear. Oh, never mind. That's a plant. It's a plant. <laughs> what? An island. Small island is Kojima in Japanese. The director Kojima? He's here? What? It honestly wouldn't be that weird for him. But he's not there. What? Who is that? <laughs> but it's not Kojima. It's Kojima no residence. One is inside. Cool. No one is inside, then we can break in. A. E. It's a garden lantern. I said garden lantern, not hardened lanyard. What? I'm aware of that. What does that mean? <laughs> Uh oh. Ah Miranda. Um Why has he met with Iris's mum? That's so. Next to him is Hitomi? It looks that way. Why? What's Hitomi doing with So? Date? What's wrong? Uh, how do we explain this? Iris hasn't noticed them yet. That's why she hasn't. I decided to ask her about them. You said you don't know So Sejima, right? Right, I don't. <laughs> Zach, <your> please. <laughs> does she know So? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? It was at that moment. He knew he fucked up. Two bodyguards dressed in black came running out of the mansion. I thought I said that I was said that there wasn't anyone in there. They had panicked looks on their faces. We told you you can't come in here. You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. Get lost. No use pushing it. Oh. If they called HQ, we would get arrested for sure. Oh, rip. And what would happen to Iris? Who would protect her? Nice is a huge organization. They have people everywhere. I can't risk being caught. Then I wouldn't be able to save Iris. Fine. Let's go, Iris. Yeah. Oh, damn. Rip us, I guess. Hey, so we're going back to Bloom Park. <laughs> I took Iris to Bloom Park. I took my time checking every inch of the merry-go-round. <laughs> There's nothing here. Guess not. Why did Renju come here Friday night? Was it to place Shoko's body here? Or did he have another reason? Renju is my friend. I want to believe him, but I don't know how long I can keep defending him. I don't think you should be defending him at all. Where is he? What is he doing? I've thought it over a thousand times. My head is heavy with it. Iris suddenly snapped me out of it. Wanna race? Race? Oh, I've skipped yeah, that back since. Yeah, yesterday. You want to challenge me? Well, sure. We'll start here and end here. So we race around the merry-go-round. Okay. Right. Are we actually Line doing this? To me. Before I even had a chance to reply, Iris got set. A set. I guess I have no choice. I lined up next to Iris. They just didn't want to animate this bit. Okay, here we go. Ready? Set. Go! No, we're not doing the running. I couldn't believe my eyes. 
I thought I must be dreaming. A second after the race had started, I was already two paces behind her. I couldn't close the gap. I watched her back get smaller and smaller. Merry go round's not that big. Or are we doing laps? See? Told you. It's just fast. Iris is the messenger of the gods. You've earned your namesake. <laughs> Do you know a lot about mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology. And three days ago, you were talking about Egyptian mythology. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. That's what Iris told me three days ago. Horus' left eye is the eye of Wajet. Does that have any relation with the Uwajet system? Probably. Oh, mythology? I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone all the time. I used to call him Uncle. Hmm. Oh yeah, didn't he come up with Aset too? Yeah, that's right. That name is rooted in Egyptian mythology too. Oh. Dante, why are you staring at the pole? I mean, I am a good dancer, but... Mom? I've never pole danced. I was not expecting that reaction. <laughs> Fair enough. How did you get so fast? I told you yesterday, I love moving around. And I especially love dancing. But... Hmm? About three months ago, Mr. Ogira told me something. He said that I can't dance. Why? I don't know. He said something about being over-reliant on dancing and neglecting my singing. You should stop dancing for now and practice singing. But during your live stream... She was dancing. Because I was sad. After I stopped mm -hmm. dancing, I lost so many fans. They said terrible things to me. Like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. All I have is dancing. Just dancing. Damn. That's kind of... Oof. About the Eye of Watcher. Horus's arch enemy was Set, his uncle. His uncle? Osiris's little brother is Set. And his son is Horus. This Set was an awful guy. One day he tricked and killed Osiris by trapping him in a coffin. So naturally, Horus didn't take that well. Drats! I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set! On the other hand, Set didn't like having Horus around. Ugh, he's so annoying! <laughs> Osiris said that I was supposed to be king. But now everyone's like, oh, Horus should be king. <laughs> Are these idiots serious? Horus would be an awful king. I need all mythology Time explained like this. And so... A bloody war broke out. Just like that. And the winner was decided by a deadly game. What kind of game? They would disguise themselves as hippos. Ford the river, and whoever gets to the other side first would win. That's what they decided. How oddly specific. So, for 80 years they fought. It was bloody and horrible. Fair enough. In the end, Horus won. Horus used a spear to cut off Set's foot and Wee Wee. Wee Wee? Uh, uh. I believe she is referring to a male. Wait, why are you <laughs> asking me? But Horus didn't come out of this unscathed. During the well. battle, Horus lost his left eyeball to Set. It's said that the left eye survived and traveled all over Egypt, gaining wisdom and experience. Ah. Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its own. What? Super Where did sister. my eye go? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of bummed wisdom, out. moon, and time, Thoth. Damn, Set did that? That's brutal, dude. <laughs> All right, 
I'll use my moon power to heal you up. Yay, thank you, Mr. Thought. Okay, here it goes. Moon healing power. Ring, ring, ring. Thoth cast his spell and Horus's eye came zooming in. <coughs> Zoom, click. Horus got his eye back. <coughs> and from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it. It became the symbol of knowledge and healing and revered as a sacred icon. So that's the eye of Wadjet? Right. And it became the eye of Providence. Yes. And do you think that's why we call it the Wadjet system? Probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like Iba. By Aset. Horus's mom is named Isis. But in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Ise or Aset. Hmm. Mm. How do I explain this? I told you about Horus's dad, Osiris. His mom's name is Isis. So Osiris is Isis's husband. Osiris was assassinated by his brother Set. That's what I told you earlier, but there's more to it. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces and threw it in the river. Isis was huh? devastated. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. <laughs> but she didn't let it break her because she had the power of life and death. All right, fine. If that's how it's going to be, I'll just revive my husband. <laughs> just easy. With a group of friends, easy. she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection ritual. Live! Shkr! And so, Osiris was revived! Well, technically he wasn't all there, so he wasn't in one piece. But anyway, <laughs> Isis was the goddess of life, death, and fertility. She was worshipped by all the land. I think I get the picture. But what does that have to do with your own name? There's a theory that the Greek goddess Iris is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected. Yeah. And Isis sounded like Aset in ancient Egyptian, which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. <laughs> Love remember, like death fertility. I didn't come up with the name. Her uncle. Hmm. Her uncle coming up with the name and knowing all that mythology about the eye stuff makes me think that her uncle is the one who killed Shoko. Yeah. In the end, we didn't find any new information on Renju. But I'm not too upset. This is what a criminal investigation is about. You don't always find what you're looking for. Let's get going, Iris. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we're going to Marble. Interesting. Where are we going? Yeah, it now? does. Marble, the Golden Yokocho. Wasn't that where we were attacked by Nice? It'll be fine. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Besides, mm -hmm. they wouldn't ambush us in the same place twice. But why Marble? No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. Hmm? Okay. Oh, we don't get to click on anything? Okay. Going <laughs> to Marble to get blasted, yeah. Sorry I couldn't come last night. No, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> Men be like. It was better that you didn't. Huh? You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. They were trying to kill okay. a man and a woman. Mom is great. Wait a minute. <laughs> yep. I told Mama about last night and about Nizat lost too. Beer! What? What? Don't like beer? <laughs> Was that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> you say stuff like that all the time. <laughs> Dante, 
You want to watch Hiroka's promotional video? Who? Iris, let me introduce yes, you it to Mama's That's where I got sister. it. That's a fridge. Mm. Oh, come on, Date. Don't be a dick. Mm. Hey, Date. It says beignet custard on the board. What is that? I think it's written wrong. It's supposed to be vernier thrusters. Mama, you better order them quick or we won't be able to control the rocket. What? I know, I know. I'll have the vernier thrusters ready tomorrow. <laughs> what? <laughs> How I learned to stop worrying and love the bug. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Don't wonder. Don't wonder about it. Find your business. <laughs> Want a drink? No, I'm okay. Oh, good talk. Oh, what should we ask? Mama, what are you doing? Hmm, just polishing the bonito. <laughs> Why? Because we only wanted Why to do one indeed. animation. <laughs> Ma'am, what do you think of Mama? She's a delight. Aw. No, oh, aren't you nice? Are you looking for a job? Iris is still in high school. How about after you graduate? Starting rate is six million yen an hour. Date, I need a body so I can work <laughs> here immediately. You won't get hired looking like that. Introduce Iris. Sorry for the late introduction. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset, you bet. Oh, sorry, habit. I meant Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. <laughs> are you a virgin? You are. Uh, Ma'am? Yeah. What a coincidence. <laughs> Thanks, Cypher. Oh, you don't say. About the armed men. I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. They would do anything for <laughs> money. Nice must have hired them. About Nice Alos. Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. But you're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. Summarize. Mama, I want to ask you something. Mama. What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. <laughs> did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell Mama that you were coming. And that you were bringing Iris. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, I did tell one person. Oh, so maybe it wasn't boss that ratted us out. The person I was going to have you meet, of course. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Futa, I think. Futa Amanoma. <gasps> Wait. What? Oh! That's... Pewter. So it's either Boss or Pewter. Abyss Headquarters. Tuesday, 7.05pm. Police Headquarters. There's no one here. I feel like we're about to get jumped. Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. The computer is definitely around here somewhere. Doctor, your intuition is correct. I am detecting a living organism nearby. I knew it. I mean, I guess it could be boss. Of course Pewter is not there. <laughs> Take this search more seriously. I just clicked on the table, jeez. <laughs> I know. This Pewter guy must be hiding between the binders. What is he made of paper? Of course he's not in there. Is Pewter in here? <laughs> no, he's not. Pewter is not in the metal shelves. I know. This Pewter guy must be hiding inside the CRT monitor. <laughs> what is he, a contortionist? Of course he's not in there. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. to love. 
laugh too loudly. It's three o'clock in the morning, but. <laughs> There's that bastard. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll tell you everything. <laughs> you told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Renju hired them. Renju did? Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nice. Nice? Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. Did you help number 89 get away? How much does she know? Just answer the question. Yes, I did. It's been bothering me. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? So it was a setup. You were the one being held hostage. It was if a setup. you set were helping up. him the whole time, it all makes sense. What's that cat on your waist? I've always wondered this. The cat on your waist. Okay, what is that? sounds good, diary. I oh, appreciate this? you. It's Bastet. Bastet? A cat goddess. Why are you asking me now? <laughs> yeah, why are you asking her now? Introduce Pewter. This is Pewter. Oh, uh, hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello. I'll have to give you my card later. I have a feeling that if I reached to my pocket, I would get my head blown off. <laughs> Reassure her. I'm sorry you had to see this. It's fine. But don't worry. I won't kill him. Then can I leave? No. Sure. If you don't mind me breaking every one of your fingers. <laughs> then I'd rather not. <laughs> About Renju's watch. Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Yes. That's true. This is really loud. There was no need to ask anything else. Why did Pewter help Renju? I forget the thing about the watch. His last answer was all I needed to hear. Why did Renju escape with 89? I don't know. It's true. Please, believe me. Renju said that he needed him. That's all I know. Is it just me or did the game get a lot louder all of a sudden? By 89's escape. Two days ago, Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? Yeah. I was conflicted. I thought hard about it, but it was Renju asking. Someone I love. And he sounded like he was on death's doorstep. He was begging for help. I couldn't say no. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. You know what the results were. You say someone you love. I didn't know that they had a relationship, like or any friendship or anything. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier. Though I... Wasn't being threatened with a gun. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Yes. Did number 89 know about the plan? Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I what imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. Why was Boss not present at 89's interrogation? I may not look it, but I have connections high up at HQ. Friends, from my college days. I asked one of them to call up the boss. Where's Renju? I see. So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. <laughs> you can't. Why not? Date, I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know, to understand. 
The truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Iba. And? You don't get it? Date, his hands! Oh, fuck. Date! <sighs> now, come with me. Well? Damn it, Pewter! Date, calm down or it will compromise your ability to drive. If you crash, you will not be able to save Iris. Where is she? I don't know. So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. What about her phone's GPS? I tried. It's been turned off. Then... Well? It's just an extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Moma coming through. Holy shit. Iba, <laughs> call Moma now. On it. Hey, Dante. What's up? I explained the situation as fast as I could. Tessa. Tessa got kidnapped. Dante, you bastard. <laughs> I know, I know. Yell at me later. Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. God damn it. After a short pause, Moma yelled out. Goto, Ariake, Harbor Warehouse District. What? That's where the cold storage warehouse is. That's where I saw Iris's dead body. Uh oh. Hey, are you listening, asshole? I've got it. Thanks. I'm on my way there too. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Well, Harbour Warehouse District, Tuesday, 9.29 p.m. Something. Everything's called something? Okay, cool. Those are the guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Cho. The mercenaries. How many? I detect more than we can see. They are positioned all over the area, surrounding the warehouse. Each of them carries an assault rifle. What about a pepper rifle? An easy task. <sighs> Looks that way. <laughs> there are portable barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Portable? They can be moved and erected easily. <laughs> Ayo. Oh. Oh, interesting. I could have gone a completely different way with it. Huh. I didn't even know.
Find another route in the previous Somnium. Oh my god, you can go back and redo things. I had no idea. All right, now to think- Oh, wait. That was not there before. Wait. That was definitely not there before. Okay. Look, it's too dark. I can't see that far. I need Iba's help with this. There is a black van parked at the end of the harbor. Anyone inside? There are two ways to find out. Walk over, knock on the window, and open the door. Or you can use the x-ray mode. Yep. That's... It's Iris. Damn it. Is she okay? Unknown. But at least we know she's alive. She looks scared. The issue now is reaching her. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Hold on. Are you dense? <laughs> They're going to blow your brains out. They got guns? <laughs> yeah, and not just one or two. They all have assault rifles, and they're everywhere. You can tell? Even in the dark? <laughs> have you forgotten that I found out what was inside your safe? <laughs> I have superpowers. I can see in the dark, and I have x-ray vision. <laughs> oh, shit, you were serious? <laughs> I nodded and told him about the rest. The iris was in the van at the end of the harbor, and that there were two portable barricades on the way there. After I laid it out, I stared into his eyes, Ao. We need a plan. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. But I need to ask you a few things first. Okay. That appears to be a military-grade all-terrain vehicle. MoMA. That vehicle. That's one of ours. I got it from the army. It's bulletproof. Even the windows. Damn. I thought you were trying to run a non-violent gang. Well, that's exactly why. We got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. I suppose that makes sense, <laughs> in a way. Three questions. MoMA has a hunting rifle. MoMA, that's not a toy, is it? No fucking way. This is the real deal, no baby. No fucking way. <laughs> Does he have a permit for that? I am a cop, you know. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Don't throw the book at me now, Dante. <laughs> that's funny. What did you want to ask? The jackoff who took Tessa. Pewter, right? What's his deal? Fuck I think nice. Renju asked him to do all of this. Renju? I told Mom about Renju and Pewter's relationship. I can't remember. Oh, that's right. Renju was looking for Tessa. Not only that. Can someone remind me? In the parallel world, I found Iris' body. <laughs> just in casually just drop that in the parallel world. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. You want to ask? So these bad guys, why did they take Tessa? The van's at the end of the row. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse is right there. They must be planning on taking her inside. Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. Tessa's in the van down there, right? Yeah. In that case, why don't we go around the back? Unfortunately, that is impossible. The warehouses are flush with the water. The mm. only path to the van is down the front. Clever. I relayed that information to Mima. Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. So, what's the plan? Uh, well... When I was coming up with a plan, a car emerged from the darkness. Oh shit, we've been spotted. Doesn't look like a sus fan. Oh yeah, bring the 12 year old. Mizuki, Ota, what are you doing here? What do you mean? You contacted us. What? I sent an aisle message to both of them. Why? Why? Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll save you no matter what, Iris. What's a 12-year-old gonna do? I 
I promise. And the fucking 24-year-old man-child weeb. A promise is an inviolable protocol. <laughs> it must be followed. Come on, man. Do you know what a white lie is? No, I am an AI. <laughs> you always pull out that excuse when it's convenient. Besides, Mizuki can be very helpful. She is 12. And Ota? Perhaps he can be used as a shield. <laughs> And that's cruel, even for me. <laughs> uh, Date? Who are the kids? <laughs> Don't call me a kid. You're 12. Who's the old man? <laughs> I sighed and shook my head. I made the introductions quickly. So you're a sixth grade roommate and a neat who's trying to get his light novel published? What good are they? <laughs> You don't look very useful yourself, old man. <laughs> yeah, you're all short and scrawny. Shut up, I'm not <laughs> short. The earth is just big. That argument is fallacious. <laughs> and you're short too. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> no way. This isn't even my final form. There's no way you just said that. Up. I can get three times bigger than this. Bro. Liar! <laughs> this went on for a bit. <laughs> I finally got fed up from shouting at them. This is so ridiculous. Listen up, you idiots. You're here because you're all ASET fans. Water. Wet. Sweat. ASET. <laughs> Fears. Upset. Regret. ASET. Gambling. <laughs> Roulette, bed, a set. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah! yes. Have we not remembered that this, like, this whole right, operation let's going work on? Together and get our we should probably be back. quiet. <laughs> yeah. This is our time to unite. Let's show them what we're made of. Oh yeah. man. Shoulder to shoulder, heart to heart, we stand. Show no mercy, for you shall receive none. I don't know why the game's so loud. Oh, that's really quiet now. Good. It's working. I explained the situation to Mizuki and Ota. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry. They can't shoot you. Yes, sir. Mama, I need your trigger finger. Get on the back with me and okay. shoot any gunman you can see. You got it. Wait. And Mizuki. You're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're gonna need your powers. I'm doing good. Leave it to me. Having fun with this really hey, weird Dante, game. <laughs> what are you gonna have her do? She might not look it, but she's something else. They won't take her down without a fight. Interesting. You sure about this? She is 12. <laughs> yup. You should worry more about yourself, MoMA. <laughs> so, Damn. now you know your jobs. This is how we get through. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. Okay. We need to rescue Iris from that van and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? The talking animation's great, yeah. All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's lock and load. We're coming for you, Tessa. Hey, yeah. On three, one, two, three, go! go! We are supposed to be on a covert mission. Operation Iris Rescue began. Oh, you're just vibing? Oh, okay. I was just driving, cool. Hey, look! Is that a tank? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah, why do we have a tank? Kill him! Too many of them. I don't think my rifle can handle this many. <laughs> I have to think of something. Okay, blow it up. Cool.
Date, I have a plan. Lit. Is it a good plan? Just listen. You still have that pornographic magazine, <laughs> right? Or what? <laughs> the worst way. Don't act innocent. <laughs> Last night, you went back to Golden Yokocho. You found one of those magazines and hid it in your clothes. <laughs> Bro. How did you know? I'm your left eye, Date. Of course I would know. <laughs> This game is so insane. Case, throw it at the drum. No. <laughs> Why not? This is a collector's item. It's SSR. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. You can't just throw it away. <laughs> so what is more important to you, Iris or Eros? Arrow. Hmm. <laughs> Iris. <laughs> Can't, can't we? Darcy, please. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Take this! I think that was a quick time. <laughs> what? Could it be? <laughs> Legendary! There's no fucking way. Oh. This is amazing! No one back home will believe me! <laughs> I really thought he was gonna like blow the drum. <laughs> uh... Date now! Shoot the oh, drum! Oh! Okay, so he was. He just needed to get them over there. <laughs> Now's no time for crying! The drum contains flammable liquids! Do you understand? Yes. I got it. We're just gonna commit a mass murder, it's fine. Oh, oh. We got quick times? Oh. Ota! On it. We're just like slowly pulling up. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is so anticlimactic. <sighs> there are still more of them. <laughs> no more oil drums to blow up. I'm at my limit here. Wait. I hope she was just gonna get out. Like when there's all this shooting going on. Iba, any ideas? Yeah, it's true of it. Let me see. Date, last night, you picked up something oh, here else, we go. didn't you? <laughs> uh. I told you, don't act innocent. Oh my god, I'm he picked up the bra. The bra you shot down in Golden Yokocho. I needed it as evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Enough with your pathetic excuses. <gasps> Why is he like Just this? Just under the container. No. Damn it, Date. I was going to give this to Reika as a gift. Oh my god. Someone else's underwear? <laughs> Wine and underwear are best when aged. Bro, no, no, hold the fuck friends. up. <laughs> run, that roll that back. True. Dante, <laughs> what are you doing? Iris is in trouble. Hold on, just turn it down. <sighs> Man. Dante! Okay, okay. I just gotta throw it, right? I can't believe this. He just had this on him. This is so dramatic and for what? Goodbye! <laughs> what the hell? 
This must be a gift from heaven. So wet, as wet as it gets. <laughs> so dirty. Shameless. Absolutely shameless. <laughs> Enemies now. gathering around on the <laughs> Now, if we can cause that container above them to fall. I... I could shoot the cable. Can you make the shot? Yeah. This is incredibly you unhinged. The entire game is like this, by the way. <laughs> okay, what are we... What are we pressing? Oh, we're doing this. Okay. Oh shit, move! Oh, did I fuck that up? Oh. Let's go. Oh no, it's fine. Okay. Roger. <laughs> we just very casually just drive up to the next barrier. I can't with this. <laughs> the last one. Okay. Once we get through here, then. What's the plan? Fine then. My turn. Wait, Mizuki! <laughs> oh, that idiot! <laughs> what is happening? Is she gonna beat them up with the crowbar? Mizuki can't do this alone. I know. Great talk. Loma, cover me. Hey, wait up! Oh god, oh god. Oh. I'm pressing space. Okay. Nobody shot. Yeah, just no one. This is what we should have done this entire fucking time. <laughs> this girl is 12. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Don't test me, motherfucker. By the way, is Paimon's voice actor. <laughs> Do we Mizuki the girl here? <laughs> Just imagining Paimon beating people up with a crowbar. <laughs> Mizuki! Oh, uh oh. All right, sure. Oh, okay, Momo got them. Well, great work, team. <laughs> Thank you. No. My goddess, your chariot has arrived. <laughs> There's no way. Date. Jesus Christ, Ota. Ota, mission complete. All right, got it. <laughs> this is so insane. Oh, we got an achievement. The erotic legend of Atlantis. <laughs> what the fuck? After that, we split up and booked it. <laughs> Fair. Momo got behind the wheel of his vehicle, Ota took the van, and I got into my own car. Mizuki went with Ota, and Iris came with me. We drove off as fast as we could in different directions. The rain poured down endlessly. The neon lights of the city blurred faintly through the fine drops of rain.
Ikume Shrine, Tuesday, 10.38 p.m. Date, Moma and Mizuki contacted us. They're all safe. No. Good. Good work, team. I breathed a long sigh of relief. You okay? Yeah, I'm a lot better, actually. Um, sorry, by the way. For everything. Hmm. During our escape, Iris got motion sickness. I decided to pull over at Ikume Shrine so she could rest. Oh, and thank you. I never thanked you for saving me. You should be thanking those three. Some bodyguard I am. Aww. I put you in danger. That's not true. If it wasn't for you, I would have... Anyway, there's nothing else to say but thank you. Aww. Uh, about the winter iris. Looking at the iris again? Oh, yeah. I can't see it well in the rain. You must really like that flower. Of course, we share the same name. Iris, the rainbow goddess. Yeah, that's what uncle taught me. The uncle again. Perhaps it is not the flower itself that Iris likes. Mm -hmm. Did Pusa say anything? Nothing in particular. I didn't talk to him at all in the car. What about the group of gangsters? They were all speaking different languages, so I didn't understand anything. Mm hmm. Listen to her story. Do you think the fruit of immortality really exists? Legend about the shrine? Yeah. I told you yesterday, I don't believe in that stuff. I see. But you do believe in parallel worlds and secret societies. <laughs> Because I experienced that in Iris' Samyu. This could be a negative side effect of the sink. Mm. It is possible that you've been emotionally compromised by Iris' morbid inner consciousness. Yeah. Emotionally? Well, there is no point in discussing this now. About Uncle. I used to love Uncle. Not like romantically. I was 12 at the time, and Uncle was already in a relationship. You with your mother? With your mom. Oh, you knew about that? I've heard a lot. Like the Okonomiyaki incident? Yeah, the picture I drew. Right. We were always like that. That's a shit picture always for a 12 year old, to be fair. <laughs> played around and stuff. I remember that in sixth grade, Uncle and I used to play hand games. Like what? Um, like bratty cakes. Hmm? It's like patty cakes mixed with rock, paper, scissors. Oh, okay. Bratty cake, bratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven, rock, paper, scissors, rock, Paper, scissors, shoot! <laughs> I win! I win! Yay! Sure. What was Uncle's real name? I don't know. I only called him Uncle. Mama called him Falco. Falco? I knew it was 89. <laughs> Isn't it a funny Fucking name? Fucking knew it sort was 89. Japanese man. Oh, maybe he wasn't Japanese. I, I never found out where he was from. Bitch. Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. I been telling you bitches. It was him. Were dating. What? Now you have to take the penalty! Up, up, side to side, up, down, pinch! <laughs> and number 89 is with Renju now. What the hell is going on here? 
Hmm. So now we have that confirmed. They were trying to help him escape. Maybe Hitomi is also trying to help 89 escape so she can be with him. And maybe they need Iris for something or they're trying to kidnap Iris to take her to him. Maybe Shoko found out about the whole scheme to like let 89 out and so and she was gonna like whistle blow? I don't know. I didn't keep my promise. Promise? Did you forget? I told you that I would tell you who my late night visitor was if you went on a date with me. Oh, right. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And we went on a date, so guess I'll tell you now. Sunday at 2 a.m. I was visited by... Renji Okira. What? Hmm. Why didn't she want to tell us? He seemed really sick. Probably because of his injury. At the time, I had no idea what had happened to him. He was sweating buckets and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. He seemed really desperate. I couldn't say no. So I got into his rental car. We went somewhere, I don't know where, some deserted building. Mr. Okira got out of the car, then grabbed my hand. He tried to pull me inside. I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Mm. Why didn't you tell me this? Mr. Okira has done so much for me. He took care of me as a kid. He helped me at Lemniscate. I wanted to trust him. No matter what happens, I can't think of him as a bad person. Mm. I mean, he never did anything bad to me. He came to my house at two in the morning and tried to take me <laughs> to the building, but you never know. <laughs> when you just he don't want to see the red flags. Flowers or something that he found. <laughs> or it was like a prank he was filming for the internet. Or Come on, something. girl, please. And that's what I thought at the time. That's what I kept telling myself. But after hearing everything you've told me, I can't see Mr. Okira the same way. Maybe he's a part of Nice. Maybe he's trying to... What happened to Renji? I don't know. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since. What did you do after you ran away? Well, I didn't go home. I thought he might come back. I just walked around and went into a bunch of stores. Restaurants, coffee shops, net cafes. I was afraid that he would try to call me, so I turned off my phone too. Mm, she was trying to be and around then other people. At night, around seven, I think. I turned on my phone and got a Nile message from Mizuki. I want to stay at your place. I met up with her and took her home. I thought having her around would comfort me. I don't know. Aww. Where did he take you exactly? Iris, I need you to tell me one thing. Where did Renju take you? Where did he take you exactly? It's been closed for eight years. The chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. 